What is up guys? It is Cars Across Texas here. We are at the Meekum Auctions for Houston today. And it is day two of everything they have going on. They'll be here tomorrow as well. Um, they have some cool stuff already right here and some cool stuff going on the block today. So let's, uh, let's go check it out and have a good time. We got a large Viper collection here from BJ Motors or Viper Exchange up in Tomball. <laughs> this car right here is one of 25 produced for the 96 year with the uh, mustard color rims. We got this very nice black one right here. Very nice uh, Gen 1 convertible. Another Gen 1. I think this is the one that is super rare for the 90s, 92 year. I think it's like number 79 or 250 or something like that. We got the 97 GTSR here. This is one of 100. Super cool, super rare. Some other cars right here. Now here we got the uh, Lamborghini Diablo VT. <laughs> My mind, Lamborghinis okay. have changed from um, they were their own company to when they're owned by Audi. <laughs> Still a total beast, though. This thing is kind of the German touch. Gated manual, very nice, always a must. Got the 05 Ford GT. Looking very nice in the red and white livery. The original GT500, completely unrestored, all original. Looking very nice right here. right here with the Dodge Challenger Demon. Very nice suspect one at that. The black and the red uh, accents everywhere. Right next to the Demon we have some classic muscle right here with the uh, 1970 Chevelle. The most classic vet. That's the old school Ferrari Testarossa with the little sharp right here. Superbird. Look at this wing. King of the big wings right here. The OG. 07 GT500 rolling up to be auctioned. Which Viper would you take? Both Gen 5s. We've got the white with the red and the all gray. We've got a very clean 996 Porsche right here. 996-911 Turbo. Looks very nice in this dark blue. Not a huge fan of this generation, but I can't lie. It's very good. This is a whole speck and a half right here. The Tour de France TDF Blue. Over some brown interior. Very clean. Very nice spec on this 488 right here. Right next to the 488, the very nice spec one. We have these um, Bentley Continental Drop Top. Looking very nice. Now would you take this as a garage? Bentley Continental and a Ford A. The daily and the weekend. Got another red on white Ford GT over here. Looking very nice. The Ford GT is definitely one of my favorite cars of all time. Top five at least for me. Check out that uh, supercharger right there. Oh, we've got a support. We got this uh, Pontiac Firebird right here with the uh, Astros livery. Looking very nice. Always got to support the home team. Wonder if you get that shirt if you buy the car. 
We had another Ford GT here, this time white with the blue stripe. Ooh, number four. The Ferrari 360 Challenge Stradale right here. Now, this is probably my favorite car of the show that we've seen so far. Just I don't know what it is about this car. It just sounds so good, looks so good. Challenge Stradale without the stripe of that, even better. Very low mileage C5 Z06, only 30,000 miles in what? Close to 20 years. Pretty crazy. Check out this two-tone NSX. Are y'all feeling this? I don't think I am, but um, still an NSX, still cool. We got this uh, Ferrari Mondial here, something you don't really see every day. Uh, these you can pick up for very cheap as well, about 40, 50 grand. Um, but you know, as with all old classic Ferraris, they'll eventually go up in value one day. It's pretty sick right here. This color is very nice, but this custom wide body kit on this Corvette is yeah. super cool. These deep dish rims. Check out this um, rear end. Look at that. That is, uh, that is thick. We've got this beautiful 190 SL Roadster. This is a nice light baby blue color. The red interior. Very classy, very clean. Check out this old Boss 302. It's 1970, 69 in that era. Very nice in this blue paint. Best car in the show right here. <laughs> uh, the F-150 Platinum convertible conversion. What even, what, what? What's happening here? I don't understand. Jeez! Look at the meats. It's a very nice Aston Martin V8 Vantage convertible. Shouldn't go for that much, maybe been around 50. No reserve, oh, we can be taking this home for $6 today, boys. <laughs> so we got this uh, one of 350 for the entire world SLS final edition Roadster. You get the full carbon fiber hood. Carbon fiber mirrors, very, very nice interior with the diamond stitching everywhere. And this pretty sick wing. Now would y'all take this or this silver Ferrari 360 convertible? We got this beautiful Giallo Modena F430. Getting very sharp. A close relative of the flagship hypercar that y'all might know from Ferrari a couple years back. The Ferrari Enzo. With the same taillights. Yes, son. Now I would take that final edition we saw earlier, but this I would not. No cool kit in it does not have the cool doors. And for me on the SLS, 80% of the appeal is the gold wing doors. With this beautiful Maserati Gran Turismo. Pick these up for very cheap now, but you also have to deal with Maserati reliability. Hmm. Now here is the most stock Toyota Supra you will ever see in your entire life. This car, I don't even think this car has anything done to it. Oh, it's a 2JZ GTE. But yeah, it's all OEM with a painted air intake and an aftermarket exhaust. That's it. Old 575M, I believe. Yeah, 575M. Very clean. 
These are gonna start going back up in value soon. We have this Ferrari 348 Spider right here, looking very nice. A 29 Ford Model A paddy wagon for the Chicago Police. Yes, sir. Yes, it's amazing. We got the Mercedes-Benz SLS with the Go Wings because it is a hard top. The coupe, very nice. Next to the Sinclair Photos, tow truck. Where are you at, AJ? Your car's right here. Because it's very clean. I believe this is a 930 generation of the 911. Um, turbo, it's a whale tail, looking very good. Correct me if I'm wrong on that 930 part because I suck with my classic horses. But, it does look very nice. Sheesh, look at these rims on this uh, S63 AMG. Jeez. What are those, like 24s, 25s, like 26s, maybe? 24s? I'm gonna go with 24s, but those are um, slightly over the top for my taste. With the Chameleon Camaro. Very nice looking 348 coupe. 348 and 355. 348, I was right. Cool. It's very nice like that. Got the uh, 2015 Shelby Super Snake prototype from the factory getting auctioned off here today. Next to this classic Cobra replica. Which would you take? Modern day Super Snake or Cobra replica? This M6 convertible right here with the V10, aka the cool M6. This is amazing, right? This actually looks super good. I'm not sure what it is about this generation of uh, Camaro Firebird. Camaro for this one right here. Uh, I'm not sure what it is about this generation that I just absolutely love. I think it looks sick though in this blue color. With this uh, 930 Porsche Carrera target top looking very sharp right here on what look like BBS's. Yeah, BBS rims right there. Looks very good. We got this. Uh, Viper GTS RSI 750 right here. Number 250, or uh, what is it? 288 to 360 right here. Very nice, about 700 horsepower or so. Oh, okay, cool. Big Wang and then a nitrous bottle. Yes, sir. Very nice uh, Shelby Cobra GT350 right here. Shelby GT350. One of the better sounding cars of today. All right, it's the best thing here right now. It's like a Cadillac pickup truck thing, Escalade pickup, but this side is entirely flames. Amazing. You get this trailer with it that matches. Yes. What's even happening here? Wide body A bars. Yes, sir. Custom pearl yellow paint. Sheesh. Aired out. What in the world? Yes, sir. Pretty insane right here. Completely resto modded Camaro with the uh, twin turbo setup right here. Sheesh. This uh, Gen 3 convertible Mamba edition, number 196 of 200. You got this crazy APR performance carbon fiber splitter. You come back here and you got this massive wing. Yes, yes, sir. It's amazing. Very different cars right here. Got one of the smaller cars of the auction. Next to one of the biggest cars of the auction. It's a very nice looking factory wide body to Hellcat right here. Basically just some demon fenders slapped onto a Hellcat. Right next to a Go Mango Charger Hellcat. Looking very nice in the brass monkey rims. Got this complete resto mod Camaro right here, slammed to the ground. Powered by a big old LS7 under there. And multiple awards at SEMA. Pretty crazy. 
about this old school Aston Martin Vanquish around 03, 04, what is that? 04, yes sir, got it right. Looking very nice, very classic car. This old school Yanko Supercharged Camaro. Probably absolutely just butchered the name of uh, Yanko Yanko. I'm not sure how to say it. Correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, very nice looking Camaro. I'm not feeling the rims on this 360 right here. It was once a very nice spec car, the silver on the burgundy. And then, the carbon fiber wing. Amazing. This Mustang Page car from the Daytona 500. Very nice. 13 to 50 built. We got the super old school, like father, like son, the 1970 Challenger, Plum Crazy, next to a newer Plum Crazy Challenger. Which generation do you like better? I think I'm gonna have to go classic on this one. It's Ferrari 308 GTS Target Top, looking very sharp. Another car that has gone down in value, but has been seeing some increases in the value lately. Totally sinister right here. Aired out Lincoln Continental. I think this is also from BJ Motors or Viper Exchange. The white walls and everything completely slammed. Such a sinister looking car. With the 1973 De Tommaso Pantera right here, aka the Ford Rari, designed in Italy, powered by Ford. Hey, that wing though. Sheesh. Mid-engine supercar, yes sir. The Lotus uh, Avora 400 right here. Nice wing, good uh, track weapon right here. Now, typically I can stand taller than most cars, but the Mercedes Unimog makes me feel uh, rather small. This particular one was owned by Arnold Schwarzenegger at one point in time. Totally insane right here. The Formerly Schwarzenegger owned Unimog. You thought your 4x4 squared was cool now, but uh, totally gets one up by this. We got the Mystachrome Terminator right here. Looking very nice. Pretty rare paint job on this, but it is a factory paint job done by Ford. You don't see too many of these stateside. Defender 110 pickup. This 92, yeah, 92 RT10 Roadster. Quite the garage right here from the 90s, Defender and a Viper. Got this old C10 pickup truck here that was used in Fast and the Furious 4. Car is absolutely <laughs> ridiculous. Totally insane. It's awesome though, for sure. right here. Uh, gated six speeds. That's always a win. Check out that. Very nice interior as well. Woo! Spicy. We have the 612 Mom Spaghetti right here. Scaglietti. These weak arms are heavy. Whatever. 612 Scaglietti. Very nice. The 599's predecessor. Turbo next to the uh, SRT Demon, the second one we've seen here at the show. Got the white Ferrari Testarossa right here, looking like some sort of Miami Vice type stuff. Oh, it's a Mono Specchio, okay. It's a flying, I didn't even see that. A flying mirror. One of 322 in the U.S., I think it said. And this one's in white. So this would be the second one I've ever seen. Yeah, only 322 flying mirrors for the U.S. Very nice. 
beautiful 599 GTV with the HGTE package. Very nice over here. This is the WRX from the opening scene of Baby Driver. It's pretty sick. Time to go sit down and watch some of the cars going across the auction block right up there. Uh, I think there's a couple of cool things lined up, like an old Porsche and stuff like that. So let's go see what they fetch in an auction. Probably can't see it up there, but the uh, 930 Turbo is up there right now. Not, not the one with the 32, that's a, it's a truck. 930 going up on the block. Let's see how much this goes for. These are going way up in value, and this one doesn't have a ton of miles. Around 30,000 original. Already at asking 75. 